sunny, but more bugs outside today for whatever reason. And I guess with that in mind, what was going on today? How about this one? This one says there's another drone company that was sold. This one says drone developers sold for 15.2 million. The deal marks Onda's second drone company's purchase in just over a year. Onda's holding is set to acquire Israeli drone developer Airbotics in a 15.2 million merger. The deal is hoped to boost Onda's mission critical IoT offerings and accelerate the rapidly developing unmanned aerial vehicle industry. Under the deal, Air Robotics will be combined with American Robotics, which on this holidays purchased for 70.6 million in May of 2021. So I guess they have big plans. And it says here, on to CEO Eric Brock said the UAV industry is at a pivotal moment on the cusp of significant growth following years of development and that his company's recent purchases seek to help drive this movement. The combination of air robotics with American robotics is a seminal event in the drone sector, said Brock. It is creating a leading global provider of commercial drone solutions capable of scaling for customers. It makes me wonder too, with all these people buying out companies, depending on who owns it, will it eventually be, let's just say, banned, kind of like Chinese-made drones in the US for things like government use and all that. Although with that said, in terms of drone growth, is it more to do with things, for example, like military drones because of things like the war versus a recreational drone or even let's say commercial drones? Because this one here, people were posting online, like here it says, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation at the Army 2022 Forum. Basically, it says they signed a bunch of contracts showing, I guess, the types of drones. And you can see, I suppose they're meant more for military use, probably dropping items and all that. I was thinking too, with this one drone, for some reason it's camouflaged and it makes me wonder, isn't this meant more for if you're on the ground around bushes and all that versus if it's in the air, it'll still stick out like a sore thumb. But overall, lots of business, I guess you could say, when it comes to war, which is a little unfortunate. And I guess with that thought of war, what's going on with this? This one says, government announces support for Canada's preparedness against cyber attacks. From electronic espionage to ransomware, the threats to Canadians from malicious cyber activity, including cyber attacks, are greater than ever. In the future, this will also include the quantum threat, whereby quantum computers will be able to easily hack through much of the existing encryption that we rely on today. Given the significant risk that it poses, the government of Canada is redoubling efforts to protect Canadians from the quantum threat. Sounds like something that would be a movie title of sorts. It says the Minister of Public Safety, the Honorable Marco Menesino, today announced the federal support for Canada's cyber defenses. Quantum Safe Canada will receive $675,000 for their project, laying the foundations for a Quantum Safe Canada, which raises awareness and preparedness of the quantum threat. So is it really a big deal right now, or is it just propaganda? Although I did find it interesting where with the amount, it doesn't sound like a lot, is it, for such a big issue? If you really need that type of investment.
Alright, see you guys later. Thank you.